Okay, once again you have joined me. We're with a street hypnotist on a beach, Hampton Beach, and he's giving a an impromptu performance. Again, I don't believe these are actors. This is actual hypnotist unleashing these powers upon individuals. And just to take another look at it, just to review it, that hypnos is in Greek mythology as listed the personification of sleep. He lived in a cave with his twin brother Thanatos and he was in an environment where there was no light and through the cave flowed the river of forgetfulness. Now he did have children. He had three children Morpheus, Bobiter, and Phantaos. All three of these are kind of like smaller entities over the big entity of Hypnos. So when a person is hypnotized, Shapes will change in their mind. They will see things that aren't there or an ordinary object will become something else. They will acquire fears and act out their fears and then they will have fantasies. Things that are not really there but they hope to be there will suddenly be there. So these three other entities are a little bit lesser than the big entity of Hypnos but they do intervene and they are part of the show. So let's go back to the beach and continue on with this young lady who was just at the beach obviously to catch a little bit of sun, maybe some water and uh, just enjoy herself and I guess this street hypnotist just appeared and she was willing and by the way that's a warning don't be willing. Don't do it for fun don't do it out of curiosity. Stay away from it. Relax. Next time you open your eyes, you're no longer the best motivational speaker in the world, but you still are able to motivate and inspire your friends. And by the way, the next time you get home, you will help Kelly to clean your room and you guys will make it spick and span and spotless. And you actually will forget I gave you that suggestion. You won't remember I gave you that until that room is clean. And then you'll remember that I gave it to you. But it'll be a positive, cool memory that you were able to achieve what you needed to do. However, the next time you open your eyes, you're going to find that where you're standing on the beach right now, the sand has now turned into $100 bills. Every grain of sand okay, that's a $100 this, bill. You are standing on a beach that's changing shape. money. You are at a money beach next time you open your eyes. He's a shape open. changer. Okay. Doing awesome. Shape right. shifter. He's shifting what? the, sh the shapes the around her yeah. and her mind. Really? Why, are you, why are you picking up the money? Put it in your backpack. Yeah, you gonna save some of that for later? Kelly, why are you helping me? There's money all over the ground. I already collected a bag full. Oh, she's already got some for later? We'll wow, where, where did this all come from? I don't know, but I'm gonna call the bank. Gonna call the bank? What are you gonna do with all this money? I'm gonna buy a yacht. A yacht? You could buy a lot of yachts with all this money. Wow. All right, here, I think that's, here, stand up for me, stand up for me. Well, there's money everywhere. There, okay, well, here, we'll make sure we, we can get uh, some of that later on. Go ahead and uh, sleep for me. Back on that incredible state of relaxation, focus, staying balanced in your feet, focusing even deeper on the sound of my voice. That's right, every muscle, every nerve, every fiber, doing absolutely incredible and amazing. Next time you open your eyes, it's as if you are just five years old. You're back to the way you talk, the way you act, the way you think you did when you were just five years old. One, two, three, eyes open, standing up straight and tall. All right, doing awesome. How you doing? Good, how are you? Okay, this would be called regression. And incidentally, in many of the hoaxes that we're confronted with and traumas, regression is one of the goals. In other words, take you back to your childhood state and just cry out for help. And then, of course, the ones that are appointed for help will be your helpers, right? So along with the hypnotism 
and the mind-based, trauma-based mind control, there is regression. And the childhood state is one that runs to and wants to get help from a parent or grandparent or an adult or a system. And many, many, many people have been regressed and actually do just live out their lives in this, in this kind of state of existence despite their physical age. Doing good? Yeah, you having fun at the beach? Yeah. Yeah, what's your favorite thing about the beach? I like playing in the water. Playing in the water? What's your favorite thing about the water? There's always cool animals in it, and sometimes you can find sand dollars. Sand dollars? That's really exciting. Now, I gotta know, what's your favorite thing in the whole wide world? Mm, pizza. Pizza? You have a favorite kind of pizza? Mm, no, just cheese pizza. Oh, just cheese. Cheese is a good pizza. Now, I gotta know, uh, what's the meanest thing you've ever been called? An idiot. An idiot? Oh, that's really mean. I don't know about that. Now, okay, I was, I'm, I'm curious, can you tell me where, where do babies come from? The sky. The sky? So how do they come from the sky? They just fall. They just fall? And then they're just there? Yeah. Whoa, that's so cool. Tell you what, uh, do you like Santa Claus? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Presents. He brings you presents? Guess what? I know, so sometimes the seasons get, get mixed up with the beach and everything, but we're actually very close to Christmas. And watch, the next time that I snap my fingers, I become Santa Claus, and I'm Santa Claus right in front of you. Watch. Santa! Hi! How are you? Okay, that's Fantasia. Well, now that entity's involved, fantasizing that he's Santa Claus. Yeah. You want a puppy? You want a puppy for Christmas? Yeah. Tell you what, I'll get you two puppies for Christmas. How does that sound? That's awesome. You've been a really good girl this year, so I want to make sure you get two puppies for Christmas. No coal. No, coal? Why would you get coal? You've been awesome this year. Sometimes I don't clean my room. Sometimes you don't clean your room. Oh, that's what I hear, but I hear most of the time you do. Sometimes. Sometimes? All right, tell you what, if you make sure that you clean your room from now on, we'll make sure you get the two puppies for Christmas. How's that sound? Awesome. Awesome? All right. Doing absolutely amazing. You can let yourself, here, actually what we'll do is go ahead and uh, stay on your feet for me. I want you to imagine I just pick up some of my special Santa sleep dust. I have some Santa sleep dust and when I blow it into your face, you're gonna go right to sleep. Ready, watch. That's right, relaxing even deeper every muscle, nerve, fiber. Focusing the sound. Okay, some of the pictures of Hypnos that have descended to us show him with some type of a blowpipe or some type of a bag something that he has that he can blow on people like a magic powder now that's exactly what the hypnotist just did what thanato or uh, what hypnos did in the world of quote mythology now mythology is actually like a portrayal of the demonic system is controlled by the devil. So, in a sense, there's truth in the mythology, but the falsehood is they were not necessarily creatures of that time. They are just entities and powers that came with Lucifer when he fell. So, they do still exist, but they are part of Lucifer's army or the devil's army, okay? So that's what you're looking at in this whole thing called hypnotism. My voice, next time you open your eyes, you are not five years old. I am not Santa Claus. However, the next time you open your eyes, I am now your favorite superhero. I have become your favorite superhero standing in front of you now. One, two, three, eyes open. Doing great, doing awesome. Hi! Spider-Man! That's me! Oh yeah, you, you want here? Let's let's uh you got a picture for the camera with Spider-Man here? Yeah, you want should get the picture for you. Alright. You 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 yeah, yeah, there you go. Gonna do it together. Alright. Awesome, she's got it. 
Hey, it's so cool to meet you here. Nice to meet you. Yeah, what's your favorite thing about me? You can just like web across buildings. Like, it's awesome. Yeah, watch this. What? Wasn't that cool? That was insane. Yeah, watch. Ready? We'll go. What do you think? Cool. Pretty cool. Did yeah. You guys see that? What do you guys think? Pretty cool, yeah? All right. Tell you what, what if I told you I could give you that ability to do that? That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Watch. Ready? Here, I'm just going to take off my web singer. I'm going to put it on your wrist for you. Is that all right? Ready? Sure. So now you have the ability to shoot webs. Watch this. Go ahead and shoot one. Whoa. Whoa. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Yeah? Here, watch this. One of the neat things about webs is that they're kind of fun in the way that they can bounce. So watch what happens. If you shoot a web at the ground, what's going to happen is it's going to bounce and it's going to come back and it's going to hit you on the head and when it does, you'll go back to sleep. Ready? Watch this. Go ahead and shoot one at the ground for me. That's right. Relaxing even deeper every month. It's interesting that he uses the word a web and she wanted a spider or a spider man and that we have what's called the internet and we have the web. So that might be a clue that we have to be very careful because hypnosis is still powerful even through the web or the internet and I'm going to stop it right here and we'll pick it up in the final video